I always ask an artist before I sit down with them and just like start grilling them about their music and stuff, what do you want to talk about? Because this is your platform, these are your fans, and I'm here to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, New Freezer, okay. album, tour, whatever. Same, same All right, we'll stuff. start at the top then. New Freezer, that goes. What was the inspiration behind New Freezer? Um, inspiration behind New Freezer, I think it was, I was in New York. Yeah. It was cold at the time. <laughs> Um, but the inspiration is just like some new ice, new jewelry. I had to got like a new ring or something like that, I think. You know what's interesting about this record is that Kendrick Lamar doesn't rap on beats like that. Yeah, you know don't. what I mean? How did you how did you get Kendrick on that beat? Um, I actually like he asked me to hear some of my music at the studio and I played him that song, New Freezer. He was like, Yo, can I get on this joint? And how's the reception been so far? It's been crazy. And you think, do you think this is the one? Definitely. This the one? We heard it here first. All right, so the album. Album. What's the album? Tell me about the album. Um, Album is done. I ain't got the name for it, but No name? Done. You can always name it the Bacon Album. Not, the Bacon Album? The Bacon Album is guaranteed to win. Definitely. That's the number one seller. Number one seller. Um, Do you know how many tracks are going to be on it? Probably like 13. So that's an album, not an EP, not no mixtape. This is an album. The album way. Any notable features? Mm, um, Playboy Cardi. Okay. Tory Lanez. Okay. Lil Wayne. Oh. Rick Ross. Oh. It's going to be pretty dope. And Rich the Kid on it. Yeah, Rich. So it's, it's going to have some sauce Read on it. Read about it. <laughs> it's going to have some sauce on it. Yeah, So somebody who maybe hasn't heard what you sound like, what would they expect that album to sound like? You're going to be very lit. Very lit? Very lit. Are you excited for this album? You geek for it? Um, Yeah, I'm excited. Debut album, so it's big. Yeah, I mean, so are people super excited to it? Like your fans and stuff? What do you think they're the most excited to hear on it? Uh, I'm not sure yet. They, they don't tell you that kind yeah, of stuff? Yeah, they don't know. They don't know what's in store. Little, you know what little man. That's a, that's a solid running right there. You dig? Are you going to tour off that too? For sure. For sure. Ooh, what, are your, what cities and what stops are you most excited to do? I love Europe. Europe is dope. So Paris, um, London. No DMV on that list? Oh, yeah, of course. DMV. Okay. I just came back from Europe, so... It was dope. So New York's still on the brain. Got you. Tell me this. Who would be your perfect collab if you could pick any artist, whether alive or dead? Um, You could pick three if you need three. Yeah, I would pick Tupac, Biggie, huh, and Kid Cudi. Lies? You said somebody else the other day. Who else? You, they said dead or alive, though, baby. Dead or alive? Yeah, they didn't say dead or alive yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if they were all living, who you going to pick? Um, I don't know. All living, Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce and Rich the Kid sounds like a fire collab. I don't, I don't even know what it would Read sound about like. It. I was gonna say sh shout out Beyonce right quick because she I know she in here somewhere listening. I already know. Um, anything you want to say to the fans in the DMV before we sign out? Y'all be ready for the day. You album is on the way, baby. The money way, you freeze away, diamond way, flexing. <laughs> Got you. Thank you.